Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you see this. This is Dee with Older INFPA <clears throat> Assertive Insights. And the camera is not straight. Today I want to get your feedback. Um, just want to talk just a couple of minutes about, um, I think it's NI, and um, just me, in, it's, it's all about me, but. Uh, <laughs> about maybe INFPs and um, things that natural occurrences and what I'm talking about is me and hurricanes. I have a connection with hurricanes of being able to not get in harm's way and um, people have brought that to my attention decades ago because it's been a long time since this has happened but, uh, yeah, two things I want to uh, get feedback from. One is um, which function is it? I'm going to say, I think most INFPs would think it would be FI or something along those lines, but I think it's going to be NI. But I, th I know it's, to me it's intuition. To me it's intuition. To me I'm going to put it into NI. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so what am I talking about here? And the second thing I like, just feedback and see what it is, is uh, is this a phenomenon that is um, common among intuitives, which that's commonly probably yes. And how about INFPs? Have you experienced anything like this? Or do you know another intuitive type that does it all the time? <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm doing this on YouTube because I, more people are going to be seeing it, seeing it, and um, I do seriously want feedback. This is a feedback forum that, today. So, um, yeah, so what am I talking about specifically about hurricanes and my intuition? Well, it's come to mind because we just went through a hurricane. It was Hurricane Helene, and I feel bad, sad, not bad, bad, but sad because my second home. I don't live in the mountains here. I'm in North Carolina and I've lived all over the state. Um, the mountains, the eastern part, haven't lived at the coast but I haven't lived too far from the coast. Right now I'm in the central part. I've been in the central part for 20 years. Okay, so um, it seems like it started with so we have a lot of hurricanes, and um, it's rare that hurricanes go to the mountains, but they do once in a while. But uh, I, what it, what happens is that I tend to not be around hurricanes. I get this feeling, um, and I'm not around hurricanes um, when they're the devastating ones. Now, the first one when it happened, and it was in. 96, the late 90s, was Hurricane Fran. And um, I moved out of my house here in central North Carolina to go to eastern North Carolina for a job. And I had only been there a week, and I had not even finished moving all of my things. I got the main stuff out, and the idea was I still had, uh, my youngest daughter was still at home. The other two were um, out of the home, adults and out of the home. Um, and my intention was just to work the job a little bit and then go back to the house. And we were to go back to the house on the weekends and um, mainly for my youngest daughter who did not want to move at all. And um, she was a teenager and they don't want to have anything to do with your parents. <laughs> She's stuck in a strange town with her mother. That's not what a teenager wants to do. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, so we had been out for one week, and um, we had several hurricanes. Um, actually, we had a couple. I think we had one, at least one hurricane in that week, and it didn't do. No, that was later on. Um, we had several hurricanes while we were there. We were there two years. Um, we got there for a week, and Hurricane Fran was supposed, if you don't know about the hurricanes, you're welcome to Google it, 
but just go with the flow. You don't have to know about them. But uh, it was a big hurricane, and it was to come straight over my house. <laughs> I, it was to come straight over my the town I was in, but I, I felt like it was my house. Like, I got to get out of here. So we had made plans. We had made plans to, um, after school and after I got off work, um, to go back home, come back home to the middle of the state, to our house, and get out of the hurricane. And it was on a Friday. I will never forget it. And I told my daughter, I said, you pack when you get home from school, and let's be ready to roll um, when I get home from work. And I'm just going to get home from work, get in the car. We have a dog and cat. We're going to just move everything. We're going to go hit the road. Well, as it turned out, um, I got held up at work. And I was late leaving. And I don't know how late I was leaving, but it wasn't that. It was... Maybe half hour. It, it it wasn't longer than an hour, but maybe half hour. I was late leaving for some reason. Something held me up, which never happened. Um, I'd only been there a week, I know, but that really has never happened in my job. That something really holds me up. When it's time for me to go, I, I'm, I'm going to go. I'll put my time in, but I'm going to go. With this, something happened. Got home, and on the way home, I noticed all the stoplights were... Uh, Swing in the middle of the street. The stoplights were swinging. I mean, they the wind gusts were up, and I had a two-hour drive to get back to my home. And I told my daughter, I said, um, you know, we, we're we're going to stay. Um, it's too dangerous to be on the road. The wind's too high, and um, I'm, we're we're just going to have to tough it out here. So we did, and. Um, the following morning, my neighbor here at my home in Central Raleigh called me up and told me to come. I need to come see my house. And what had happened, to make a long story short, Hurricane Fran had veered and it hits, hit at night. And it's very dangerous for a storm to hit at night. And instead of coming over my house, it made a left turn. And it went straight over my house here in Central North Carolina. And um, I lived in the woods, and a pine tree fell through my house and cut my house in half. And there was nine inches of rain inside my house. Um, so I missed almost being killed, all of us, by being delayed and missing that. And um, so I didn't think too much about it. I was grateful that we I was held up. And... Um, yeah, that was a mess. Um, it looked like a war zone in my neighborhood. So, um, yeah. So the next time what something happened, it was um, a couple of years ago. So a couple of years later, Hurricane Floyd came through. And that did, did hit where it was supposed to. It came over my house in the eastern part of the state. And flooded the whole city. Um, just flooded it. And my nephew almost drowned in that hurricane um, he did get out of his apartment in time so it was a big mess and um, but I had sold my house like a month before I just decided that I was going to leave if I could sell my house I'd leave my daughter had gone to live with her dad back home and left me a year before I was there by myself I you know I just said let me see if I can sell the house I did I got out it was one of the it was like one in 500 year floods or something like that through the through the town um, very impassable for weeks on end it was very devastating um, then that kind of that got my attention that I am leaving I am getting out of harm's way somebody is helping me somewhere or another. I don't know if you believe in the supernatural, you believe in uh, the universe or God or angels or anybody. I don't know what I believe. I just know something was going on um, to keep me from harm. And um, someone actually told me, a friend of mine at the time told me, they said, oh, when you leave a place uh, and you move, I think I'm going to move because that means that a, a flood's coming. So I thought it was kind of funny, but um, then I went to the mountains. I got a job 
left central North Carolina, which is where I had moved, um, back to the same city where I am now, and I moved to the mountains. And um, I thought, well, I'll go somewhere where there aren't any floods. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, there are floods. The water has to go downhill. So um, I was in a lot of water there, but uh, not any catastrophic things. So nothing's happened. So those two things have happened, and I'm cur I've always been kind of curious about that. Um, if things like that happen with INFPs, and what had happened, and what got me to thinking about it now, is that um, it's been 20 years, but um, Western North Carolina. I think in my last video, if you saw it, I was depressed because of my vacation I had planned to the mountains. I couldn't go because a storm was coming. And I didn't want to drive in rain. Well, as it turned out, um, and and when I canceled my reservations, the storm had not even formed yet. It was in the Caribbean. The hurricane had not even formed an eye or anything. It was just a floppy mess in the Caribbean, spewing rain all over down in there, those little countries and areas in, in down there, um, Mexico and Puerto Rico, places in there. And it wasn't even a, storm, a hurricane, a tropical storm or anything. It was just producing a lot of rain. And something told me to cancel that uh, I don't need to be there. And that was um, two weeks before the hurricane hit, uh, informed and hit. So um, I just went ahead and canceled. I felt bad about canceling it, thinking I'm just overreacting. But what has happened, not only did it, Helene, is, Hurricane Helene is the latest one, Helene go up to the, through Florida, it went up Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and the North Carolina mountains, and we got, well, there was a tornado down the street for me, um, so we got tornado warnings and whatnot where I live um, 200 miles away in rain but nothing major but in the mountains where I was going um, all of western North Carolina the roads were closed officially closed there was so much flooding um, the town where I used to live and I call my second home as I said um, the streets are flooded I have never known the streets to flood ever and I've been going there my entire life um, the mall does flood because it's in a low area. It It's low and it will flood a little bit. Not the city. I mean like rushing. It's like a river. Everything in the North Carolina mountains is uh, a river. From what I can tell. So again I have averted um, going and being in the middle of something having to do with water and a hurricane. Again the third time in my life. And I'm starting to think there's a pattern here. <laughs> and INFPs are good with patterns. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just throwing this out there. Um, give me comments. I want to know, um, have you heard of this this phenomenon? Uh, do you experience that? Um, is it um, you into it? Which cognitive function is it, do you think? And um, yeah, I'm just putting that out there tonight. So my battery's going dead as it normally does when I do a video for YouTube. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Um, I hope you're doing well. And um, there's another storm of brewing <laughs> down around the Caribbean right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I do feel sad and bad for her, everybody that was affected, particularly my second family up in the mountains. Um, Hope everything turns out well, but uh, there won't be any hiking for me probably until next year. So until next time, stay safe.